Hello friends and welcome back. It is that wonderful spooky time of the year. The most wonderful time of the year. And I have something special for you this year. We're going Halloween themed and we're making some witch's broom earrings. So here's what you're going to need to get started. Okay, here's what you're gonna need to start. Each of the earrings is gonna have one piece of 16 gauge wire, and I've cut it to four centimeters in length. And then you will also need 20 pieces of 24 gauge wire. Each of those also cut to 20, or sorry, each of those also cut to four centimeters and then one piece of 24 gauge wire at 17 centimeters. Okay, so let's start with the broomstick and I'm gonna use these bale making pliers. If you don't have these, you can use round nose pliers. The thing with round nose pliers is you'll have different diameters depending on where you uh, create your loop from. So you just wanna maybe mark or really eyeball it really good so you get these the same size. So I'm using the bale making pliers and I'm going to use the smallest one here. So at the very top I'm going to create a loop. So I'm going to grab the top, the very tip of it, and then rotate. Maybe. Till it's touching. And then I'm going to release. Come here. And then I'm going to do a little counter bend. so that my circle or loop is centered over the wire. You can leave it slightly open right now. We'll close it up all the way later. All right, so the top of the broomstick, you're gonna see that the loop is, you can look through it. The bottom one, the loop is gonna be facing away from you, so you won't be able to see through it. So this bottom loop, I'm gonna grab and I'm going to roll it to the back. Now, you don't have to put a counter bend in this one, but I think I'm going to, because that's the way I accidentally made the first pair and it looked okay. So I'm also gonna do a little counter bend here. So this is the way your broom should, your, <laughs> your broom should, your broomstick should look after you're done. So I'll do that on both of them. And a nice tip on making earrings is that whatever you do on one, you immediately do on the other to keep them looking the same. So you'll notice when I was making this one, I accidentally did the, the loops going in the same direction. So don't worry if you do that, you can just uh, grab one end and twist it and then that mistake is fixed. Okay, now we're gonna grab our little bundle of 24 gauge wire. Now the first time I did this, I tried to be very efficient and bend these all at the same time. And it was like, poof, <laughs> like, <laughs> like a deck of cards, like they went everywhere. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do this time is grab the middle and get them all kind of bending in half the same way. And then I'm gonna stop here. And this part is a little tedious because there's so many of these little guys. Oop, and I didn't even get the middle of it done very well. I can fix that as we go forward. Um, but I'm gonna bend each of them in half individually. Just give them all a little squeeze. Doesn't have to be perfect. Doesn't have to be like a hairpin turn or everything. Just leave a little opening. Just squeeze each of these until you've gone through all of them. 
if you can think of a better, more efficient way to do this, I would love to hear it. But I'll go ahead, bend all of these uh, for this one and for this one, and then I will meet you back here. Okay? Okay. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Okay. Wasn't that super duper fun? I recommend having Parks and Recreation on in the background while you do that. Or you're choosing a podcast or a television show, something to keep you entertained. Onward. So now we're going to take the long piece of 24 gauge wire. Remember this is 17 centimeters in length. And we're going to start to string all the little bent pieces onto the wire. Whoop. All right, once you have all of those on, I'm gonna take my broomstick. Doesn't matter which side. Let's go with this side. Wait, no, this one. And I'm gonna find kind of the center, split those in half, and I'm gonna attach it to the 17 centimeter wire. And then I'm gonna squish them together. All right, now, once you have them all squished, I might go in and just kind of close that, oops, wire. Okay, cool, cool. And now I'm gonna crisscross these two wires in the back. Before I do that, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna give these all a little squeeze to start to create the shape of the broom. You can see that. And then I'm gonna take one wire one way and crisscross the other wire. So we want the, the wires going in opposite directions. And then I'm gonna to start to wrap it. One going one way, one going the other way. Okay, so you can start to see the shape we're creating here. And you can go in and give everything a squeeze now and then to tighten it up. And then you choose how, how many wraps you want. I think I'll do one more round. That's probably good. Then I'm gonna have them meet in the back where they crisscross. I'm gonna take a pair of pliers and I'm gonna start to twist them around one another. You can see that. And then I'm going to take my cutters, trim it off, and then whatever's left over that's sticking up, you can just either push it up or push it down, your preference. I'm just going to press it down. It'll be on the back side of the broom so you won't see it. The front side looks nice and clean. So now to give the broom a little shape, I'm going to take a pair of pliers. I'm going to use my flat pliers and I'm going to squeeze below the wrapping. I'm just going to kind of spread out everything like so. Now before we go on with any more details, I'm going to do all of that on the other earring. Poof! Magic! 
All right, now, so they are mostly done. If you want to go in, um, if you don't like how the ends are uneven, you could go in and trim those. I kind of like that they're uneven. Uh, the other thing I like to go in and do is put some little bends in the wires so they look a little bit more spooky. So I'm kind of bending in one direction, moving down, bending in the other. So I have like a little zigzag, just a little bit more character and dimension. So you can just go in and kind of play. I'm just doing this randomly. So you can see like that. Cool, and now I'm ready to attach the ear hooks. All right, I have my two ear hooks. You can use whatever style of ear hook you want. If you want to learn how to make an identical pair of these uh, hook earrings, I have a link down below to another video where I go in detail on how to make these. So check that out. I'm going to open these up. And slide them on. So there is our witch broom earrings. <laughs> so fun. Uh, now, if you want to patina these, to give you an idea. Here is the final product, Patina. Now, if you wanna learn how to patina your jewelry, I have another link below, so follow that. I'll also put a little link to the type of uh, liver of sulfur gel that I use. So you can check that out, message me with any more uh, questions. Um, but these are so fun. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a very spooky and fun October. Thanks so much for watching and uh, check out my Patreon page. The link is down below. Each month I've been giving away um, one, of the, uh, one of the pieces that I make on the tutorials. So last month the Patreon uh, giveaway was the sunburst earrings and then this month I will be doing a giveaway on the witch's broom earrings. Thanks everyone so much. Have a wonderful day. Bye.